Hello and welcome to Infinity. In another video I gave away some soft shapes as macros and I just want to show you another use for them. So here we have the soft shapes. Let's open that up and we'll just take this nicely trapezoidal shaped thing here and I click on the soft trapezoid to get the basic thing here. If by the way it's some other colour you want to make sure it's white, so just go to the colour here and do that. You can also click on the shape and use the fill. However, let's go to the Move tool and we just drag it down. This is the way, typical way we'd use it to cover up this shape and maybe do something to it here. So there we go, we put in a, uh, a lightning there effect. So, but now I want to do, say something else. I want to do, say, some sharpening of it. And uh, what I can do for this is if I click outside here so nothing is covered, I will go here to the, uh, where is it? I'll use the Unsharp mask. And typically what I'll do is I'll zoom into the, to this in reasonable detail. And I'll put the radius up to about one, typically, and then adjust the factor so it's kind of sharpened. However, the problem with this, as with much sharpening, is you sharpen things you want to sharp, but also things you don't want to sharp. So when I go and look at the sky here, look, this is all sharpened. See, if I take the sharpening off there, that's before, and that's after. It's gone a little bit crunchy. But no worries, there's another thing you can do with this. You can go and use this soft trapezoid I've dropped in here and do it again. So if I hit that and hit Control J, and I now drag this up to, so I get that vertical blue bar on the Unsharp mask and drop that there. Look, the it's kind of masked it out. So if I go down to here, see this has turned into a mask. The blur on it seems to have disappeared, but it is still there. And if I turn that off, there you go, that's the sharpening. And that's with it masked. If I wanted to edit this, by the way, I can take this and drag it out to the top here so I can see where this is here. I can go in, see the, the blur is still there, so I could change that if I wanted to. Uh, and also here, the opacity. So typically I would turn the opacity up um, so it has a greater effect. Yes, it makes it look very brighter here because I'm going to use this to go back to being a mask. And that will drop that mask onto the Unsharp mask, the trapezoid shape and the blur kind of collapse into one here but it's just hidden for the moment you can always drag it out and use it again. You can also right click on here by the way and go to release mask it's exactly the same as dragging it up and you can do the same sort of thing with mask to below same effect but when you go out here there's our finished article and it is now sharpened it is now brightened up and that gives you two uses for soft shapes. And thank you very much now for watching.